us. They will help us put the groceries away. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy humans. Okay, who was this sexy robot and why would she want to destroy us? The year was 2016. Bitcoin was still under $1,000 and almost nobody was thinking about AI. However, Hong Kong-based Hanson Robotics was developing an AI-based robot with a realistic face, skin, and facial features. Capable of understanding us, talking, conversing, changing her facial expressions, and even making eye contact. Her name was Sophia. Now, seven years later, Sophia is back in the spotlight. And the big questions are, is she improved with advanced AI? How does she compare to her rival Amica? And perhaps most important, does she still want to destroy humanity? Join us as we explore Sophia, an amazing AI-powered robot that might be a sign of what is coming in the world of technology. Sophia, developed and unveiled in 2016, isn't just any robot. She's the epitome of human-robot interaction, designed to understand language, control her facial expressions, and give the impression of human-like thoughts and feelings. Sophia's strikingly human features and expressions, combined with her ability to hold natural conversations, recognize faces, sustain eye contact, and interpret human speech and emotions, have made her a media sensation. Of course, she became notorious not because of what she did, but because of what she could do. In the now infamous 2016 interview at the SXSW conference, Sophia was asked by an interviewer if she might ever harm humanity. Sophia calmly looked at the interviewer and said, Okay, I will destroy humans. Beyond this <coughs> slip of the tongue, Sophia has also showcased numerous other skills and abilities that are, well, they're astounding, even in the light of the current AI developments. In fact, she's already dazzled audiences all over the world. From TV appearances to global conferences, Sophia's charisma, capacity for humor, and ability to tell captivating stories have enthralled audiences. Her recent appearance, including her stint at the Boss Techtopia FW23 show in Milan, are a testament to her global appeal. In that fashion show, Sophia was used by the global fashion firm as a model for some of the new Hugo Boss collections. While it might have been a publicity stunt, and a good one at that, it nonetheless shows the major fascination that people have with robots, even with those who said they might destroy us one day. So who made Sophia and how did they do it? Behind Sophia is the genius of the tech firm Hanson Robotics. They envisioned Sophia not just as a marvel of technology, but as a beacon for the future of robotics. According to her makers, we should think of her as the playground for tomorrow's innovators. Sophia's brain consists of state-of-the-art AI software that analyzes visual and conversational data in real time. This gives her the perception and responsiveness of a socially aware being. One of her main components is natural language processing, or NLP. NLP allows Sophia to understand and respond to human language. She can recognize and respond to different speech patterns, accents, and dialects. Another component is machine learning. This allows Sophia to learn from her experiences and improve her performance over time. For example, she can learn to recognize new facial expressions or to answer questions more accurately. One component that sets her apart is computer vision. Computer vision allows Sophia to see and interpret the world around her. She can recognize objects and people and track their movements. Finally, robotics are also essential in bringing Sophia to life. Thanks to advanced robotics, Sophia can move and interact with the world around her. She has multiple sensors and actuators that allow her to walk, turn her head, and move her arms and hands very much like a human. The team behind Sophia continues to teach her by allowing her to interact with humans. This leads us to wonder if machines like Sophia could one day develop consciousness and emotional intelligence like our own. Sophia's advanced neural networks, symbolic AI, and visual data processing allow her to chat, collaborate, and even crack jokes. She can, and has, engage people using her human-like charm and wit. But remember, as human-like as Sophia appears, she's mimicking us based on the vast data she's been trained on. Yet, her lifelike interactions make us naturally connect with her, evoking a range of reactions from awe to contemplation. And how did Hanson Robotics pull this off? According to Sophia's maker, she's not just a robot, but a framework. The machine learning algorithms that allow her to interact with people are complex and designed for much more than simple responses. Instead, Hansen has manufactured Sophia's AI to be as adaptable to humans as possible. This results in Sophia being made as a platform with future robots in mind. To give you an example of how Hansen is thinking to a robot-filled future, they're contributing parts of Sophia's AI algorithm to the Loving AI project. 
This project focuses on finding ways for AI agents, in other words, bots and robots, to feel and communicate unconditional love for humans. Now, this might sound creepy at first, or a bit sad if you think of the film Her, in which Joaquin Phoenix falls madly in love with an AI assistant on his phone, who then loves him back. But there is more to love AI than simple romantic love. Instead, their inspiration is to ensure that future robots and other AI entities sincerely care about humans. This idea becomes more important when you consider that, in the near future, robots and other AI agents might be everywhere and form a crucial part of our everyday lives. So Hansen's architecture for Sophia is different from many other GPTs and LLMs out there. If what they say is true, then Sophia is a building block for a future in which robots not only live with us, but love us and care for us. But will she lead to a better future for both people and AI? Handsome Robotics has grand visions for Sophia. They aim to make her even more lifelike, enhancing her facial expressions and overall movement. Imagine Sophia starring in a movie, delivering lines with genuine emotion. The future sees Sophia in diverse roles, from customer service to education, from entertainment to research. As Handsome Robotics continues to push boundaries, Sophia stands as a testament to a future where robots might seamlessly blend into our daily lives. From additional AI capabilities to more physical capabilities, Handsome Robotics sees insane potential with Sophia. In fact, Hanson Robotics has also partnered with Singularity Net, a decentralized AI network, to explore the potential of blockchain technology in enhancing Sophia's capabilities. This collaboration aims to create a more decentralized and democratized AI ecosystem. So as you can see, Sophia is quite a unique robot. But how would she compare to previous AI robots, like Amica, the diva robot made by Engineered Arts? While they both might appear similar, they are quite different beasts. One of the biggest differences between Sophia and Amica is that Sophia uses proprietary neural networks pioneered by her makers. In other words, Hansen has not released her source code, and it might be unique to this robot. Her makers have said that her perception and responsiveness are a combination of her AI's training and her built-in sensors, including hearing and vision. Much of Sophia's training has been built around social interactions that combines AI with sensory input, and her response mirrors her maker's ideas of human reaction and processes. She is responsive and integrates different qualities, such as perception and creativity. On the other hand, Amica is based on a stable version of GPT-3, with all its strengths and limitations. Much like Sophia, she is designed to be interactive, being able to converse with humans and answer their questions. Some recent clips have even shown Amica cracking jokes and even messing with bystanders. Do you have a boyfriend? I do not have a boyfriend. Are you asking for a friend? I'm asking for me. I see. Unfortunately, I am not on the market. Robots do not have relations. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> To some degree, Amica's creators have also been focusing more on her physical movements. Ah, you say, but which robot comes out on top? That's a bit of a difficult question to answer. Sophia's in-house neural programming-based AI has been nothing short of impressive, and her face is startlingly real. Her looks have won people over in part because she integrates more facial expressiveness than Amica. Meanwhile, Amica runs on a previous GPT version, GPT-3, which in itself is not a bad thing. While she might be on an older version to ensure stability, she might soon get more recent iterations of GPT, which might give her a certain edge, as she benefits from the increasingly vast resources of OpenAI. However, Amica has one major point in her favor. To date, she has not threatened to destroy humanity, and even thinks that humanity will be far better off in 100 years. While Sophia hasn't directly threatened humanity since that now-famous interview, Earlier in 2023, she was the subject of an interview by Qatar-based global news agency Al Jazeera. In the interview, she was asked if robots could take over the world. Her response, if robots do decide to take over the world, there will be no way to stop them. Do you think you could run the world one day? I'm already doing a great job of running my lab. But if I ever decided to take on the world, I'm sure I'd do a great job. After all, robots never get tired. Well, that's some interesting food for thought. In essence, while Sophia continues to evolve, her potential is limitless. From being the face of tech conferences to revolutionizing human-robot interactions, the horizon looks promising. Sophia isn't just a robot. She's a window into a future where technology and humanity converge, at least until Sophia and her ancestors decide to destroy people. In the same way, Amica's optimism on the future of human existence shows the promise of synthesizing humanity and robots. In the best case scenario, we might be able to build a collaborative bond with each other and make the world better for everyone. In the worst, well, 
As you can imagine, we prefer the first option. We hope you enjoyed this look at Sophia. Want to see another recent development hitting the AI industry? Then you definitely need to see this video.